to the wing. They play it into the box and a little bit of a tussle there, but it's pulled in by Tyler Spellman, the Dix Hills elite keeper. As now the header looking to try to send Michael Swift, but out to play it is Spellman. Not much there, really. And while yesterday was a very mild and comfortable morning in day one of group play, day two, the attacker, it found Skahan, but he couldn't do anything with it. Now back into the box it comes. Spellman has to reach up and pull that down. That might have had eyes for goal. Take a look at this again. Shot sent into the box. And yeah, that was going on tar one into the box. To the touchline, throws it in, header is up, and it's punched away by Spellman. Excellent. P and Sunrise comes away. Chips it down the sideline. There's Barone, and he'll play it back to Spellman. No score as we cross into the 18th minute of the match. Delzing on the restart with the throw. Working to the middle, Moore puts it on net. But Spellman, down to his knees, golfs it up. And he had Rice looming. So those two goals from the reigning champ certainly changed the complexity of things. Of course, neither Saskahan. Little stutter step. Gets it to the touchline. Can he put it into the box? He can, but Spellman's right middle. The setup in front. Shot blocked off. It's Muff. Nice job by the defense to allow Spellman to come out. That was, as we'll take a look at this little chip into the box, and there you see good job by Barone to Dix Hills, ready to restart play. Dix Hills in those black kits working from right to left. Sunrise and the Baby Blues going from left to right here in the first half. So glad you could join us from Germantown, Maryland. The 2004 team that in play and keep it in the possession of Sunrise. Here's Skahan working it towards the box, puts it in, but that's right on goal, and Spellman target. Has easy catching practice for the keeper as he gets himself in the way. Net. And that made it easy for Spellman to pull it in. All kinds of space if they wanted to set up, up some type of cross. Instead, they worked it to the middle, and there wasn't much there. As now Spellman. Here's the cross for Celtic. Akin Here's Taruz Bahar. Across. Collected by Tyler Spellman, the Dix Hills keeper. He played the first half. Continuing to run inside the box, finding a cross. Foot save for the moment by Championship. You can order and purchase any broadcast from this year's event by logging on to turbosportsgroup.com. Just after 8.15 here on the East Coast. Back to Spellman. Short to Akin Lasotu. Wyatt's cross, finding Brown, getting separation. The first 2 0 deficit if Baltimore Celtic can turn their fortunes around. Two goals. Now Brown. Robinson on the left foot, curling away. Akin Lasotu lost possession in the And Spellman collects. Now inside the final three minutes of the first half, we will shortly be seeing Crosses to the box. Fell for a kid with Sotu, who was able to get a chest on it. Too much ricochet off that chest, and 
cap as they manage in group play. Opportunity for Pulliam getting away from Flynn. Out came Spellman. Flynn able to get the crucial touch. Cross back into Clark. Saved by Spellman. Akin Lasatu. Pass Wagner. Left footed shot. Saved out of bounds by Tyler Spellman. About a third of the way through this first period of extra time. Corner kick falls into Spellman's hands. And a long throw out to McAuliffe. Possession to Wyant. Wyant. I think he might have loses possession to Grant Robinson. And here's Tunde Akin Lasotu. Not too heavy of a moment comes out. He tied the game in the 72nd minute. Loses out to De Stefano. Can't be much more time remaining before stoppage time. The fourth official is going back to get his board, surely. Keeping possession and clearing towards the Dix Hills goal as we're about to see the ruling. One minute of added time. A long clearance from Hunt. Spellman heads it away for pressure out of the box. Time running out. Just 